the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My dear friends in Christ, we come together this day giving praise and thanks to Almighty God, the one who gives us the great gift of life itself, the one who bestows upon us so many talents, so many blessings, all designed to give God greater glory. As we prepare ourselves to come before Christ Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we first, though, take a moment of pause. We acknowledge those times when we've chose to live in the darkness of sin as opposed to the light of Christ. Let us acknowledge our sins and so better prepare ourselves to more fully celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are our light and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, with you at our side, there is nothing we should fear. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we know that you will come again in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of our Christ, Grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to your fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor. From the power of the wicked, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response for our psalm is, In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my refuge, my shield, the horn of salvation, my stronghold, praise to be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the nether world ashamed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to harm Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to harm me? The Jews answered him, We are not harming you for doing good works, but for blasphemy. You're a man, and you're making yourself a god. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan River to a place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no signs, but everything John said about this man 
was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Believe the works. It's tough to believe in something, because it's tough for us to trust people, isn't it? Because each and every one of us have had our feelings hurt at some point in time, haven't we? Well, we might have even hurt somebody's feelings, I don't know, already today. But we have to trust. We have to place our trust in other human beings. And even more so, we have to place our trust in God, that God has a plan for us. And though we might not know that plan and that the path that we take might have all sorts of twists and turns, God knows where we're going to wind up. God knows that we're going to be safe. God knows that everything is going to work out in the end. So I say to you this day, those words that Jesus said to his friends, even if you don't believe me, believe the works. Believe the works. Believe in the awesome things that are still happening in the world around us. Believe in the healing that is taking place in our world. Believe in the power that has been placed by God in the skilled hands of people who are healing others in hospitals and in other facilities. Believe the works of charity Believe the works of mercy that are happening all around us. If we struggle to believe each other, at least believe the works. When I was growing up, there was a television show called Boy Meets World. And it was about this group of friends and their teacher. It was a wise old man named Mr. Feeney. Some of you might have seen this show. I think that they redid it a couple of years ago. If you have Disney Plus in between High School Musical, The Musical, check out Boy Meets World. I think it might be on there. But Mr. Feeney was a very sage, sage individual. He was sort of a modern prophet in those children's lives. And as the show was wrapping up, the children, now in college, came back to see their old teacher who was retiring someone who they weren't going to be seeing as often as they would have liked to have seen. And he gave them advice. He gave them three words. The first word is the word that we hear in our gospel today, believe. Believe, dream, and try. Believe in the awesome power of God. Believe that God has a plan for you. Dream big knowing that something great awaits you. Have a dream and try. Try your best, even at those things that are difficult to do. Because those things that are difficult for us to do, those help us to achieve that dream. And if we believe in the power of God, if we dream big and if we try, We will do good in the world. We will be those people that other people place trust in. Why? Because you're doing those good works. Because you are those people of mercy that God has called you to be. Believe. Dream. Try. And you will do good. You may not believe me, But believe the works, because the works, the works are all his. Jesus, we trust in you. And so, trusting that our loving and merciful God always hears our prayers, we present our needs and the needs of this St. Paul School family before God's holy altar. God's word of these petitioners. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, and Father Doug, and Father Jeff, and our deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the world, that they would work together to promote peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our St. Paul Catholic School community that we will serve others in all that we do and work together to love others as Christ loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, suffering, or in any kind of danger, for those who are sad or lonely, that they would experience the healing power of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for all the blessings in our lives, especially our families, friends, and school community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our teachers who continue to help us grow in mind and heart, and for all who keep us safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially Colonel Warren Forsh, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we now recall in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, open the eyes of our minds and our hearts, that we may see the plan that is hidden before us, and that we may walk with you by our side without any fear. We ask these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. So pray, brothers and sisters, at my sacrifice, God the Almighty Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altar, and there be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For, through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since, by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified, and so, Lord, with all the angels who give you thanks as an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
you with the entire people you've gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, friends, with one heart and one voice, we lift our prayers to God, praying those words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And let's share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. On behalf of all of us who call St. Paul's our home, our peace to all of you watching this day, and especially to our students at St. Paul Catholic School, from Father Doug, Mrs. Wagonblast, the entire faculty and staff here at St. Paul's, know how much we miss you, know how much we love you, and know how much we continue to hold you in our prayers each and every day. So may the mingling of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to those who bless to receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And so may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe. Forever last. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that could do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, yesterday we got some news that we thought we might eventually get, but we had hoped that we wouldn't. We miss you so very much. Each day I still walk the halls with my coffee cup, but you're not there to high five or for me to ask you how your day is going. And it's just kind of lonely around here. And I know from hearing from you and from your parents, you miss seeing your friends, you miss seeing your teachers, you miss being in our hallowed halls as well. 
Well, our teachers miss you a lot. And as we go forth today, they wanted me to share with you some important messages in these days and weeks ahead. And so, may Almighty God bless you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord in your life.